So I want to tell you a story. And this is kind of along the vein of that we do bring value to the world as we age. Uh, recently, I met this woman, 86 years old, and she told me an incredible story, and I wanted to share it with you. So she started off by telling me that they were so poor when she grew up, one of eight kids, that they used to have to walk the railroad tracks and pick up coal that had fallen off the cars so that they could find enough of that to heat their house. And that in and of itself was enough. But then she went on to tell me about how when she was in the sixth grade, one of the popular boys invited her to the school dance. And wow, <laughs> like nothing like that had ever happened to her before. She was teased a lot because they didn't have money and she didn't have nice clothes to wear. Uh, so this was like a turning place for her, right? Like the world was going to shift. So... Of course, she accepted, and she showed up at the dance ready to go, and uh, the boy never came. And when she went back to school, uh, they were laughing at her for weeks, and it was all a setup and this really cruel joke. Fast forward. Now, she's in her 80s, and she's volunteering at a local hospital, and she's the person who um, gives communion to people when they need it, when they're hospitalized with major illnesses. And she steps outside of a door and sees a name on the, on the wall, and it says his name. Well, she recognized it, and she went in and to do the thing that she was there to do. And uh, he said, boy, you look familiar. Do I know you? And she said, yeah. Actually, you're that person who devastated me when I was 12 years old. And he said... I can't believe I've had the chance to meet you again because I have felt horrible about that for my entire life. Will you please accept my apology for that? And she did. And what happened there is it gave him the chance to finally release that from himself and her the chance to offer him some forgiveness for it and to do some healing for herself in the process. So. In our conversation, in our movement, I want you to pay a little bit more attention, if you can, to older folks. And older could be somebody in their 40s, right? It doesn't have to be a woman who's 86. Listen, ask questions. There are great stories there, and there are learning opportunities for us there. So hopefully you'll get that. <laughs>